What's up guys? I'm so excited today because I get to show you some JM Pretty. This was originally aired as part of Combo Breakers event Look Alive, but now I'm collecting this episode in case you missed it live. Now you can watch it all in one place here on my YouTube channel. This is a slightly abbreviated episode. There's no double jeopardy, but it is still a lot of fun and I got some really good guests on this one. So I'm really excited for you guys to be able to watch it. So let's jump right into it. Hope you enjoy it, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome to JM Pretty, presented as part of Look Alive, Combo Breakers weekend showcase of all things fighting games. And we are here with lots of great fighting game trivia for you today. We got a whole board of categories. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But first, let's go to our contestants here. We've got NRS commentator and all-around god gamer, Katana Prime. Little God Gamer. Oh, branching out. <laughs> branching out. A right, little more than that. But yeah, just happy to be here, man. Thank you for the invite. I'm ready. Happy to have you. We've got uh, the godfather of FGC content creation himself, Maximilian, is here. Hello, I'm glad to be here. I'm just I'm putting a lot of pressure on you guys just from the intros. You know? oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the winner of Cross Assault, tournament player, and the guy who has knocked me out of pools at Combo Breaker countless times. It's Nerd Josh. <laughs> Yo, what is good, JM Crofts? Uh, thanks for having me. And yeah, uh, awesome to be here for Combo Breaker. The last time I was on a FGC Jeopardy was UFGT 8, but Ooh. that's like Combo Breaker's like the successor series. So, you know, it's really cool to be back. And I'm glad because I was a little tipsy and I did really bad and <laughs> I was really <laughs> mad at all my answers immediately after. So hopefully I do better this time. Well, we've got everything <laughs> under control this time. It's going to be a lot of fun. But first, let me run through the categories here. We've got the bottomest tier. We've got not a fighting game, before and after, unique mechanics, auction tournaments, and Morgan's Sprite. And uh, oh, Maximilian boy. won our coin flip backstage, so you can go ahead and pick the first category. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to choose the category that truly defines all of us as fighting game enthusiasts for not a fighting game for 100. <laughs> All right. Nice. <laughs> it's not a fighting game, but this Frisbee game is a mainstay of mystery game tournaments and casuals at the BYOC. Nerd Josh? Uh, what is Windjammers? That is correct. Nerd Josh, you have control of the board. Uh, what is Morgan Sprite for 200? All right, so this is going to be a photo category, so make sure uh, you look at your devices. This game debuted in 2001, but still used Morgan's original Sprite from 1994. Katana Prime. Oh, nice. What is MVC2? Ooh, I'm oh, sorry. No. That's incorrect. Nerd I, Josh. I, I, what is Capcom versus SNK2? Yeah. That's correct. Fighting? I'm, I'm so mad because I'm from Florida and TBS2 <laughs> is everything. And I have Marvel on my head because I'm looking at just everything in the background of Mac's room and I'm tight. I'm sorry, Florida. <laughs> it's okay. You'll have a chance to make it up. Okay, Nerd Josh. <laughs> it's all good. Alex Navarro's like, come on, PAP. I met him personally, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Yo, uh, let me get Morgan Sprite 300. I love, I love Morgan. All right, though she's Morgan. not playable, Morgan can be spotted in one of this game's stage backgrounds. Maximilian? What is Street Fighter Alpha 2? That is correct. So bad. That's your dude. Uh, Ken. I, love that. I love that stage so much. It's like my favorite Capcom stage yeah, ever. Yeah, it's great. Uh, let's get... <laughs> Unique mechanics for 500. Ooh. All right, going big. Ooh. Tatsunoko versus Capcom introduced this mechanic, which allows you to spend the red portion of your life bar to deal extra damage. Max? Uh, what is Baroque? That is correct. Yes. Barbecue, all right. Yeah, the that's BBQ. The one I didn't know. Uh, that's one I didn't know. <laughs> uh, let's take the bottom is tier for 100. All right. This Brazilian was extremely strong in Street Fighter 3 Second Impact, but got knocked all the way down to bottom tier in Third Strike. Oh Maximilian? Who is Sean? That is correct. <laughs> um, let's go with uh, not a fighting game for 200. This baseball pong hybrid gained attention when it was featured in a 2013 mystery game tournament. But whether it's a fighting game is still up for debate. Maximilian? Uh, oh my god, what is Lethal League? That is correct. Snuck wow. it in there. I'm like, what is Lethal League? That is, that is, that's not it. 
Uh, I was thinking beer pong. I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, oh. beer pong was introduced in 2013. <laughs> uh, let's go with something weird. Let's go with auction tournaments for 100. All right. Nice. Rick the Hotto bid $21 for Team Bludgeon in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 featuring this character, a.k.a. Jenny from the Block. Katana Prime. Uh, who is She-Hulk? That is correct. And with that, we're going to go into our first commercial break. But stick around, guys. We have lots more fighting game trivia coming up. Why, hello. It's me, Editor JM again. Did you guys know that there's a JM Crofts Clips channel now? I would really appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. I think you're really going to like it. We got funny moments. We got combos. We got memes. I'm uploading multiple videos on there every single day. So please check it out and hit the sub button. I would really appreciate it, guys. Okay, back to JM Pretty. All right, guys, we're back with more JM Pretty. Uh, we got lots of clues left on the board, as well as two daily doubles that have not been selected yet. So lots of chances to make some money for our contestants. Katana Prime, you got the last one right, so go ahead and pick. Yeah, let's uh, set off before and after for 100, please. All right, before and after for 100. Dragon Ball Fighters LLL Universal Mechanic when performed at the Midwest's biggest fighting game tournament. Katana Prime. What is Auto Combo Breaker? That is correct. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes, sir. Nice. Uh, before and after for 200, please. Okay, this skull-faced archer from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 never fails to catch a Pokemon when thrown. Maximilian. Task Master Trainer? Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Nerd Josh? What is Task Pokemon Master? I got uh, it. I'm sorry. That's not correct either, Katana Prime. <laughs> what is Task huh? Master Ball? That is correct. The Master oh, Ball oh, never oh, fails. Yeah, it never fails to catch Damn. a Pokemon. Master Ball. All right, before and after for 300. Okay. I think this might be your category, Katana. Yeah, we're trying to bounce back. This arm-grabbing commentator known for saying, make some noise, first appeared in Tekken 4 as a British boxer with a flicker stance. Katana Prime? Tasty Steve Fox. That is correct. <laughs> All right. Uh, before and after for 400, please. This creator of GGPO performed Cammy's special move with Dragon Punch plus Kick. It's a tough one. Maximilian. Tony Cannon? You're halfway there. Tony Cannon Spike. Yes, there, there we go. go. Yeah, I helped yeah, you get across Cannon. the finish yeah, line on that one. Cannon Spike. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I'm okay with that. He's definitely <laughs> added for sure, yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep rolling with this weird category. Let's do before and after for five thousand. Okay, <laughs> Guilty Gear's chain sickle wielding Brit can defeat cer can deflect certain attacks in Tekken by inputting down forward. Nerd Josh, what is Axel Low Perry? That is yeah. correct. Nice. Who back in it? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, I was like, where my points go? Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me go back to my babe, uh, Morgan, for 200. Okay, this game's Chibi Morgan sprite got the HD Remix treatment in 2007. Maximilian? Uh, Super Puzzle Fighter 2. Uh, what is Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Remix? There for? we go. Super Puzzle Fighter, Puzzle Fighter. There we go. Uh, your pick, Max. Uh, let's go with the bottom is tier for 200. This character is considered so weak in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 that some tier lists put her in her own tier below bottom tier. Nerd Josh? Uh, who is Roll? That is correct. I actually got... Yo, my roll is kind of nice, though. I know that. <laughs> oh. I want to see it. My, my roll is kind of nice. Uh, le let me get... Uh, bottom is tier for 300. All right, this character, whose games are also developed by HAL Laboratory, went from top tier in Smash 64 to bottom tier in Melee. Max? Who is Kirby? That is correct. Nice. The up tilt. <laughs> True. Your pick, Max. Let's go with uh, not a fighting game for 300. Okay, this block pushing, pushing puzzle game has been a side game at multiple combo breaker tournaments. Tricky one. Oh, Katana okay. Prime. What is Catherine? That is correct. Yeah. Buzzer beater. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not a fighting game for 400. I don't know how yeah, it is. It's not file. a fighting game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah technically not. <laughs> Spooky did commentary good, for this though. crossover puzzle game at Combo Breaker 2018. Um, oh, I, I did that with him. What was it? Oh, oh no. great, great work today, Nerd Josh. I can't count. 
Oh, I'm sorry, we're out of time. The correct answer is Poyo Poyo Tetris. Oh, it was. No. <laughs> Josh was actually there. <laughs> no. We did Listen, everything it's, on the side. There's a oh, lot of God. tournaments. It's hard to remember yeah. everything. Uh, and with that, <laughs> we're going to go to our next commercial break. But don't go anywhere, guys. We still got a good deal of the board left, plus two daily doubles. So chance to make a lot of money here for our contestants. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back with more JM per D, the fighting game trivia show. Lots of clues left, two daily doubles on the board. Katana Prime, you get to pick our next clue. Go ahead. Let's go auction tournaments for 200. Okay, in the 2019 Tekken 7 auction tournament, JDCR bid $70 for Team Chain Throw, featuring King and this female assassin. Katana Prime. Uh, who is Master Raven? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Maximilian? Uh, who is Kunimitsu? Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect, too. Nerd Josh. Who is Nina Williams? There we go. There we Nina go. has some chain throws. God. Uh, Kumi wasn't out yet, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I cool. don't know. I was, was going to pick her first. I was like, oh, my God. Thank you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let me picking. go. Let me go with bottom is tier for 400. Try to get some points. All right. Despite being quite strong in Super Turbo, this character was never able to max out his potential in Street Fighter 4, ending up bottom tier in most versions. Nerd Josh? Who is uh, DJ? That is correct. Uh, bottom is tier for 500, Jam. All right. Mighty Mar won the Vampire Savior Tournament at Combo Breaker 2017 with this character, considered by many to be the worst in the game. Nerd Josh? Who is uh, Nacarus? That is correct. Nicely done. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I definitely didn't know that one. Oof. I've been, I've had my ass whooped by him so many times. He taught himself <laughs> with his feet how to play every matchup. So oh he can play God. your character as good as you with his feet. It's, it's actually unreal. <laughs> you know what? All I, right. think you're, I think you deserve the 500 for that one. Go right ahead, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah not a fighting game for 500. All right, we've hit our first daily double. <laughs> so only Nerd Josh can uh, answer this, and you can bet as much money as you want up to 1800 uh, let me bet 500. All right, for 500, not a fighting game. How I wonder how SNK came up with the idea for this competitive scrolling shooter game, an official side tournament at Combo Breaker 2019. All right, what's uh, How I wonder how SNK came up with the idea. Oh, you're talking about uh, Twinkle Star Sprites? That what is, is correct. Sprites? There we go. Oh, my God. What? You see, it's a it's a twinkle twinkle little star pun and how I wonder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just love that game. I was like, yo, that that part messed me up. <laughs> All right, nice work, and you get to pick again. Uh, let me go with auction tournaments for three hundred. All right, competitors bid on teams featuring Fat Albert, Donkey Kong, and Captain Caveman in a fan game built on this engine. Nerd Josh. Uh. What is uh, Sarv's ultimate challenge? Oh, what is Sarv's ultimate game called? Sarvet's ultimate challenge? Crap. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't quite get there. Anyone? Maximilian? What is Mugen? There we go. We're looking for the Oh, engine. there you go. Yeah. The game engine, yeah. Or Saturday Morning Mayhem, but Donkey Kong was in that one. But. <laughs> Josh should have gotten it for actually naming, like, the build. Of yeah, that's true. Yeah, he got close. He got close to getting the exact build. Let's, uh, let's do unique mechanics for uh, 100. Okay. Killer Instinct is famous for this mechanic, which may feel oddly familiar. Maximilian? What is Combo Breaker? There we go. Kind of a, <laughs> uh, a difficult one there. Yeah, hardest on the board. Let's do uh, unique mechanics for 200. Okay, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 introduced this mechanic that allows you to switch from one character's super to another. Maximilian? What is delayed hyper combo? That is correct. Nice. Uh, and with that, we are going to move to our next commercial break, but we'll be back to close out this game of Jeopardy, including uh, these final questions plus a final. So don't go anywhere, guys. All right, guys, we're back to close out this game of JM Pretty, the fighting game trivia show. The scores are really close right now, uh, but we've got a few categories left as well as one daily double and the final. So let's get right into it. Maximilian, you pick the next clue. Let's go. Uh, let's go deep. Morgan Sprite for 500. <sighs> OK, you could play as Morgan in SNK versus Capcom, the match of Millennium back in 1999, but only if you owned this <sighs> console. Maximilian. What is Neo Geo Pocket Color? That is correct. 
Uh, let's go with Morgan Sprite for 400. This card game lets Morgan duel against the Nergigante from Monster Hunter. I gotta look at their faces. <laughs> Maximilian. Oh what is happening? That is oh. correct. Oh, he's <laughs> both hands. So you guys bad. are you guys are all knowing oh. these. It's just coming down to the mashing. No, I didn't know the Neo Geo one. That, that one I didn't know. I'm using my stick with Joy to Key next time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with the unique mechanics for 300. Okay, instead of traditional supers, Mortal Kombat 9 let you spend meter for these grisly attacks. Maximilian. Oh my god. <laughs> KP, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is x-rays? No, that is correct. Oh, I have a Let's go with uh, unique mechanics for 400. All right, that is our other daily double. So <laughs> Maximilian's going to be the only one who can answer this, and you can wager bet any amount all. up to 3,400. Um, uh, I'll bet 400. All right. Pre press B plus C in King of Fighters 2K2 to activate this mechanic, which allows you to cancel special oh, moves wait. into each other. Uh, is it th this one's just for me, right? Yeah, Nerd yep. Josh knows. Yeah, I'm right. just being an yeah. asshole. I'm so <laughs> bad at, at KOF, uh, at old KOFs, but I'm going to say, what is max mode? That is correct. <laughs> you snuck that one out. All right, just two clues left. Which <laughs> one do you want? For me. Okay. I knew that one too. Um, let's Damn. go with auction tournaments for 400. All right, the 2019 Samurai Showdown auction tournament was won by this character, considered by many to be the day one top tier, a steal at $70. Nerd Josh? What was his name? Uh, who is Gendro? That is correct. And uh, we'll go into our final clue here. In the 2019 Dragon Ball Fighters auction tournament, this player secured his main, Kid Buu, with a $40 bid and went on to beat Sonic Fox in grand finals. Nerd Josh? Who is Super Noon? That is correct. Very nice. Oh, let's go. We, we have a really close battle between Maximilian and Nerd Josh, but KP, don't count yourself out just oh, no. yet because I mean, if they I'm get into a bidding like, war, I'm, no I'm from You'll a bet it all. of people who wake up buttons and everything. So like, I'm putting in the whole. If <laughs> these guys <laughs> don't know it, you could have Mario it in Party the final. Player. Um, but before we get to our wagers, I'm just going to tell you the final Jeopardy category is the first combo breaker. Oh, so now you can put in your wagers on your devices. All right, all our wagers are in. Let's see the clue. Despite Combo Breaker's name being inspired by Killer Instinct, it was this game that garnered the most entrance at the first Combo Breaker tournament in 2015. All right, looks like all our answers are in. We'll start with you, KP. You were in third here, and you put Mortal Kombat X, and that is correct, and you wagered it all. Oh, wow. So that's a good start. Let's see how Nerd Josh did in second place. He wagered Street up. Fighter V. It's kind of a trick. Street Fighter V was not out in 2015. It was oh, not. God. It was not. What, Despite what saying it was. YOLO. 2016, baby. Nerd Josh said YOLO, but breaker? he didn't end up wagering was, the that. The first combo breaker was 2015. Yep. And then and finally, the Maximilian, you were in the lead. You answered Mortal Kombat X with the 100 wager. Yep. Yeah, the, the conservative right. wager, he and he safe. knew it. <laughs> Nicely done. The first combo breaker was in the old hotel. I yes, totally it was. Spaced. Yeah, it was wow. by the airport. Yes, yep. Yeah. All right, so let's find out. Who is our winner for this round of Jamperty? It's Maximilian. Yeah, it's oh, God. Yeah, we give it to him. Good stuff. Oh, God. I think uh, all all those years of wow. playing random obscure fighting games paid off for you, man. Yes, yeah, so being master of the buzzer is what did it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the buzzer, there we go. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's okay. Even my Both. my CBS mishap was was not enough anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> Well, I can't thank you guys enough for being a part of the game. If you guys have anything uh, that you want to plug, let the people know where they can keep up with what you're up to. Go ahead. It's Katana, like the Mortal Kombat character, not the sword. So K-I-T-A-N-A -A underscore prime uh, everywhere. I'm just, that's it. Real simple and plain, man. Awesome. Nerd Josh here. You can find me on all social medias at Nerd Josh Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. I've been starting to update uh, regular content on the YouTube again, and uh, we're going to be going full time with uh, Guilty Gear Strive release. So if you like fighting games and you like speed running or playing randomizers and all that stuff, uh, stop by. And I would like to uh, to thank you, JM, for for putting on this event, and this show. All these questions is hard to come up with. All this stuff, I know. <laughs> yeah. So I would actually in encourage everyone because uh, I've been blessed to be have a large audience. Please go check out Katana Prime and Nerd Josh's channels. Like for these sure. dudes have been putting on content for uh, a hell of a long time, and I would highly recommend 
go check them out because uh, I think a lot of content creators in the FGC deserve it and not just attention for my channel too. But if you want to check me out, yeah, Maximilian Dude over at Twitter and YouTube and uh, Twitch. <laughs> That's so All right, crazy. awesome. That's well, so congrats Let's on go the Maxi win. The dude. Congrats, Maximilian. And uh, thanks again, guys, for being a part of it. And thank you to you at home for turning into Look Alive. I hope you're enjoying the event. We got lots more good stuff coming tomorrow, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more JM Pretty then, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.